Good morning and welcome to a rather murky looking Monday morning. It's about 10 to 9 at the moment. I've been up for about 20 minutes and I just can't wake up. I'm just, my head is still in dreaming mode actually. It thinks it's on the pillow still. I've made coffee, which I'm about to enjoy. And I've also woken up as stiff as a board as well. I've been doing sort of little bends and stretches and actually that was a rubbish demonstration. I can't demonstrate or I'll go out of shot, but you know what I mean. Oh dear me. Right, I just, I've got a bit of a mundane week ahead really. There's a lot of being at home, a lot of just preparing for a gig that I've coming up this weekend. I was chatting to my other half last night about repertoire for that so we've got a bit of a starter list and I'll probably add some more things to it as well because we haven't played with that lineup for ages so I've got to go over that obviously uh, practice and yeah various bits and bobs so I'm not really I'm not really awake yet for vlogging I just I thought I'd like to start the day as I get up, you know, and uh, the day unfolds kind of vlog. I don't often do this because my mornings are all the same, basically, so quite often I like to start in the afternoon once I've got the bulk of everything done. But I just fancied saying hello. <laughs> anyway, let's hope this weather improves a bit. Not that I'm particularly going out much. I do have to do another shot. I've got to go to B&M, but I will put that on the other channel. So I'm kind of juggling quite a lot of um, footage for two channels at the moment. It's just because I've got back to a house with not much food in it. So there we are. <laughs> I warn you, this is a very run-of-the-mill week for me here at the moment. So desky stint number two now. It's just gone 12. I got the vlog up. I did vlog-related DM answerings. I What else have I done? Got dressed, had breakfast, made an instant decaf coffee because I didn't want to spend the time messing around with the pot. And now I'm going to crack on with my music related admin tasks, which hopefully shouldn't take me too long. Ah, and I need to fill my fountain pen up because I haven't done it since before Portugal and I didn't write very much in Portugal, so it was fine. I've been using the turquoise ink for a month now and it's going all scratchy and empty, so definitely time. Ooh, magenta, orange. I'm feeling green. Kelly green to be precise. I don't know if you know this. You probably do if you've seen it on my vlogs, but you can buy refillable cartridges for Parker pens. This is a Parker fountain pen. I expect you can get them for other sorts as well. The Parker cartridges have got a different shape um, inserty bit, so just getting normal cartridges won't work with Parker pens as I discovered. Anyway, you just basically it's got a screw on it. There's a tiny bit of ink left in there. I don't mind too much about the colours mixing. In fact, I quite enjoy the unique shade that you get every time when you do this. Uh, right, that's, so that's gone right down to the bottom. Luckily, it didn't blob out. I might get a tissue ready. <laughs> don't have any blotting paper like the old days. I wonder if they still... Oh, they must still sell it, mustn't they? So then just plonk it in. Oops. This is one of my newer inks, so it's one of the fullest... I'm going to plunger it up, making sure not to get any air bubbles in. And I just think it's so fun to keep changing my inks. I'm resisting buying multiple fountain pens to have different colours on the go, so I can switch <laughs> switch around, but that would be an indulgence. Uh, but it would be rather fun, I think, because I love using different colours on the same bit of paper to help accent bits, you know. There we are. Ooh, green. I love procrastination. That was great. That was a great example of delaying starting the tasks. So I really better crack on those, so I'll talk to you when I've finished. Quick bit of hoovering in between things. Helps to unclog my foggy brain if it gets foggy. Although it actually isn't foggy today, I'm doing good. I'm going to go for one of my reduced to clear rotarian lunches now. I want to start my next task after lunch. One's a nice clear break in the middle. Look, these were 4.79 for four. I put two in the freezer actually. I'm going to have one now. Asparagus tips. They were 50p. Sweet. That was 20p. It's a little bit old actually, but I think it's still alright. And I'm going to have a potato cubed with it as well. Done in the active fry. Today's lunchtime listening on Spotify is David Ducey, who my other half recommended to me yesterday. So I'm, I'm following him now. I'm trying to get myself in the zone with the trad Irishy stuff because I need to go and work on a load of that after I've had my lunch. And I need to tidy up that desk down there. Oh my goodness. I'm going to do it. I'm going to tidy it up first and then set to work. And I think I'll be more efficient and productive and have a better headspace for doing it. I think I messed up the swede. I'm not very experienced with swede. I attempted to mash it with butter and milk and a bit of black pepper, freshly ground, and it smells nice. But it's hard work to 
mash. I tested it, I nibbled a bit, I thought it was soft enough, but I never mind. Anyway, I had some tips about Swede. It was on my other channel, on the Shop With Imo channel, because I was buying Swede, and I mentioned in it, oh, I think Swede's a pain in the backside. Sorry, that's finished, the salmon's finished. Swede's a pain in the backside, it's so hard to chop and peel. Well, quite a few people have said in the comments that they microwave the whole thing. I can't remember how long they said. Oh, hang on, I'll just, I'll just quickly look. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Try buying a whole Swede, put it in a bowl and cook in microwave till soft. Scoop out, add butter, salt and pepper. Delicious, said Nikki Drake. Right, here's another one from Jan. I think Jan watches this channel as well. And I think Nikki might as well. So anyway, the other one was from Jan. Hi Imo, if you put a whole Swede in a microwave container, jug in brackets, and microwave for a few minutes, then test with a knife. If the knife goes in easily, it's done. If not, cook a bit longer. Leave to cool a little and then see how easily the skin falls off. So there we are, the little tip given back from the comments section. Right, time to plate up this lunch. Oh wow, look at that. Mm, gotta love my lunch times at home. Right then, desk, let's be Avenue. Ta -da! And I've kicked the tripod that many times, <laughs> I'm sure that's not quite lined up. I did take the camera off first. That was like an archaeological dig, that was. The earliest papers for, from about August last year. That's bad. Why do I do it? Why do I do that? Like, every time I finish a project, I just don't move the stuff. And I always feel like I'm in a rush and I haven't got time to tidy up. And that did take a bit of a chunk of time out of my day, I must admit. But I feel so glad I did it. And I just think my work now is going to be so much more productive. Well, it's ages later now. Look at this tired expression. I've had a very boring and frustrating time. I wasted an hour and a half typing stuff up into Notion because I thought then I could go on my laptop and just easily drag and drop little images into this table. But I can't for the life of me do it. So I converted it into a spreadsheet and it still wouldn't do it. And I'm like, well, I had a list anyway. I didn't need to type the list in. I spent ages doing it and getting all the keys down and all the time signatures and little categories and oh it's god so frustrated I haven't got my flu out at all but I need to go to B&M now I need to go shopping I've done loads of shopping since I've been back I've done one like perishables shop I'm sorry I'm looking at the monitor because of the shadow I'm trying to keep it not shadowy um yes yeah, so I did a big perishable ones and then I did my boyfriend's one yesterday but I need a list of things from B&M as well so I'm gonna put that in the other channel though but I will film it now when I go out <laughs> and it'll be up whenever it's up right I'll speak to you when I've done that I'm having a break basically I have got a brain of mush from all the sitting down typing and copy typing and whatever I was doing earlier in the salon and not practicing and now my brain is mush so I'm I'm doing the jigsaw puzzle which is great fun most enjoying it and having a bit of coke. Coming up to half six now, I feel like I've had a bit of a wasted day, honestly. That was just wasted so much time on that flipping task that didn't work out earlier. And I got back from B&M and I just went into a slump. I tell you what, lengthy times doing typing, typey typey on computer screens, just it doesn't agree with me. I go dozy and then I can't get out of the brain fog for ages. Anyway, I'm going out this evening, believe it or not, this early evening. I'm not gonna vlog it. I'm just going out with somebody local and we're gonna have dinner together and um yeah I'll show you what I have but I won't vlog the actual evening out I'm gonna sit and mess around with my footage now from today stick it on the computer and see how much I've filmed because I'm not sure if there's a vlogs worth or not these chips are just lush mm, I'm actually having a burger I'll never have burgers but this is a beyond meat burger so I'm taking the opportunity to have that we have a bit of mustard with it and some mayo and some pepper Yum yum, I'm going to tuck in them. Let's have a taste. Oh, it's very light. I was expecting it to be heavy. <coughs> it's small, actually. I feel like this is going to be gone in a flash. Not the chips, though. Mm. If I didn't know that was vegetarian, I would think I'd was accidentally eating meat like the other day on the train. It's very good. Oh, I've wolfed that down. That was delicious. I am going to have... Oh, decaf white coffee. A decaf white coffee. Looks pretty mild. I've got used to the Portuguese strength coffee now. I'm sure it'll be lovely. It's about quarter to nine now. I've just got back in through the door. We had a little stroll around in the darkened streets afterwards as well, just for a bit of exercise. It was a very nice meal, and it's always nice not to have to wash up as well. I think I'm, uh, I think I'm having a bit of an anticlimax from getting back. You know, I'm finding my days awfully boring. <laughs> After all the excitement of always going out and exploring every single afternoon. 
so I'm going to have to readjust to that. But anyway, thank you so much for watching today's video. Do feel free to give it a like if you liked it, and there's a playlist there of videos of mine if you would like to watch any more videos from me. See you in the next one. Bye!